So what is the best place to live in the UK as a Hong Konger? Well, the HK to UK panel members discuss this very question. Uh, Andrew's asked how to choose areas with good education for kids. And I know we talked about this uh, behind the scenes, but uh, Natalie and Genji, why don't you kick us off with what your thoughts are on this matter? Yes. Um, so I know on a personal note, like Chenji, um, I was born and brought up in the UK, in England, but I do have family members, um, given the current uh, situation, that have moved over to the UK and obviously um, a lot of their friends as well. So I've actually encountered this exact point with a lot of um, Chinese people that have moved over. And what I've found is that people tend to decide where they want to live um, from having spoken to their friends and their family members and also using local forums online. Um, they will then subsequently go on to uh, property websites such as Rightmove or Zoopla and they'll start to look at properties using those sorts of big websites. Um, what you can do after that though is to go on to the local authority websites to find out the relevant catchment area for the schools. So for example I live in Nottinghamshire, I can go onto the Nottinghamshire local authority website, type in an address and that will show me the primary school catchment area and the secondary school catchment area. When you go onto that website, you can then subsequently link to what's called Ofsted reports. So those are reports um, of the schools and it will tell you their sort of grade, if you like, outstanding, good, average, below average, etc. And you can sort of get a feel for the school by having a look at those Ofsted reports. So my advice would be to uh, speak to community members, speak to friends, speak to family, and then definitely go onto the local authority websites to have a look at the schools a bit more in depth. Tanji? No, that's great. I think, you know, that's pretty much summarizes everything I have to say, really. Just two points I really want to sort of like, you know, add on. First of all, you know, people obviously are considering private and public education. And, you know, I think especially people abroad, it's, uh, definitely when I grew up, you always hear about friends, oh yeah, you know, went to a really good private school in the UK. And the reality is actually, you know, obviously there are some amazing, amazing private schools in the UK, Harrow, Eton, all these places, Repton, right, around Derbyshire, which is where I live. Um, but actually the public school system in here is quite, it's quite good. And as, as um, Natalie was saying, if, if you do the right research on these different councils' websites, you are able to actually find some really good catchment areas and get some really good value uh, for, for money. And I think the second point I would want to add on is, um, you know, um, I know many people might, might think that you can only get into a catchment area by owning a property in that particular catchment area. In the UK, actually, you don't have to own the property. As long as you live there, be it renting or owning the property, you are in that catchment area. So that kind of, you know, that might be more applicable to um, you know, uh, to families who have younger children, perhaps, and you know, planning to go and send their uh, children into good school, uh, good catchment area schools in about six to seven years, they don't have to make a decision for the catchment area. Just purely based on the catchment area right now, they can make that decision later down if they want to buy, per uh, purchase a property, or potentially renting a property. That's good. Good uh, comments made on there. Thank you so much for that. Uh, now, everyone listening to us for the first time, we are going to be putting together a, a pack of information which we'll be sharing out in due course. And together we'll be sharing out useful information even in between us. So make sure that you do follow us on LinkedIn, especially because we will be doing updates on that. Um, and of course, to subscribe to this channel. Um, now, on one of the links that I found was the best schools in the UK. And it was just an article that was written and it graded every school in the UK and based it on a number of metrics, but one of them being uh, GCSEs. So it is certainly worth you doing that. I've shared that out on, on the various uh, social media channels. So feel free to have a read of that as well. Um, just in case you can't see the URL, um, the URL just basically starts with bestschools.co.uk, uh, so relatively easy to find. We have a number of live events coming your way. All you need to do is go to www.optimiseaccountants.co.uk and then move over to live seminars. 
We have four main events going on right now. The first one is HK to UK for, to help people move from Hong Kong to the UK and get the right tax and legal financial support. We also have the property expert panel whereby you can ask your property investment questions to mortgage brokers, more mentors, solicitors, NRLA, LMPG, and of course, as for tax advice. We also got another event for the tax Q&A, whereby you can ask your business and property tax questions. And if you've got a UK tax return to be submitted in the near future, why not ask your question about that as well? All you need to do is click on the event that you wish to register for, which is the tax Q&A as for example, and then straight away, you could just press the sign up button and then go through the registration process and complete the appointment. You will get a SMS reminder and email reminder too.